Well, folks, Samus Hunter did it again. Hey, everyone. Uh, we have Mario Party news. That's right. I'm not calling it Super Mario Party 2. That is what Zippo talked about a little bit yesterday when we shared some of his details and his rumors out there about stuff that he knows. Zippo being a leaker from Risa era. Not with a 100% track record, but with a decent track record. And they were the ones to break the story that, hey, we're getting a new Mario Party game, in particular Super Mario Party 2, uh, this year. Now, here's the thing. Uh, that's the only person to ever really talk about this on an official capacity. Any other rumors about a new Mario Party this year came from places like 4chan, which obviously for many reasons, we don't really talk about 4chan rumors that much because it's unverifiable. We don't know who is saying what. Every now and then we might revisit an old 4chan rumor if some of that rumor uh, has come true and there's more information that's supposed to come later. But outside of that, we don't really talk about 4chan rumors all that much around here. But... This isn't 4chan. This is coming from Samus Hunter. For those who don't know who Samus Hunter is, uh, you must be new to my channel, which if you are, welcome. Uh, Samus Hunter has a 100% track record with everything she's reported on uh, in the last year. And if you haven't heard of her, it's because most people have now discovered who she is because of moi. So, let's get into it. She put out a series of tweets today, uh, really long tweets, so maxing out those characters on Twitter with information on the new Mario Party game that we supposedly are going to see at E3, apparently. So, here is what Samus Hunter said. New Mario Party. There are new rumors about a new Mario Party that are circling. So, again, she didn't start the rumors on the Mario Party. She's adding to them. I can assure you that they are working on it so they are making a new mario party game but i don't agree with what i've read because it won't be a sequel to super mario party so we're not looking at super mario party 2 is what she's saying not only as a title but as a philosophy behind its development hashtag nintendo league super mario party is a game primarily enjoyable on the family model of switch the base one it needs Joy-Con to be played with the console connected to the TV or in tabletop. It is therefore a group experience on the couch, and it lacks a portable experience of the series. You can use Joy-Con with the Switch Lite to play the game, but Super Mario Party is one of the few games on Switch that requires the use of Joy-Con. So it's, it, it's very finicky uh, to play it sometimes, and people aren't necessarily... That's one of the things that kind of held it back. It's the mini-games, right? The mini-games are what make it so you have to use Joy-Con. There are certain mini-games that are just unusable without them. You can't even use a Pro Controller. So it is kind of one of those... It tried to take advantage of what was available with the Switch, but also at the same point, hey, there's a larger audience that also has lights. There's also people that like using Pro Controllers. What are we going to do about that? Uh, and... Well, dropping the Super Mario Party name and going with, I don't know, Mario Party 12, whatever, the old Mario Party, I, I have no idea what, what they're going to call it. Maybe it's maybe it's Mario Party Super Rush, you know, like it is for Mario Golf. Uh, it goes in, the, the t focus will be on a title playable for all configurations, designed for light and with more immediate games, with fewer moments of waiting as all players throw the dice and move simultaneous, for an example. That is a massive change, by the way. Uh, right now, how Mario Party works, it's worked forever. You guys know. You have to wait for everyone to do their turn, everyone to do their dice. Instead, everyone can like, shake their dice at the same time. That alone is going to speed up play. And I think this is a fundamental change to really happen when you're going to have online play. If you remember, they added online to Super Mario Party, but one of the issues is obviously waiting for everyone's turns. But if everyone can kind of like go at once and there's just an order in which activities happen, you know, or like one person goes and then as that person's moving on the board, the next person can go and they don't have to wait, that to me is a massive improvement and will make online play better. So. That, to me, is... Oh, I've been wanting that change in Mario Party for quite some time. All right. And it says it will it will accommodate games played in local wireless and especially online. So a huge focus online and local wireless. Not necessarily a focus on couch co-op, which, yes, obviously you could do Mario Party couch co-op with multiple controllers. That's going to be a given. But it's one of those... That's more of a... You can do that, 
but we're actually focused on the more individual user experience and being able to hook up with people in that way. Uh, during the lockdown, in fact, the team has rethought the concept of multiplayer for the series, expanding it with online. This led to the all, all new pop. This led to all new game possibilities. So different from Super Mario Party. So we're, now we're hearing, okay, yeah, you're gonna have your base game modes, of course, but we have new game modes specific for online multiplayer. That's exciting. I'm not sure if it's coming this year. So Samus Hunter can't confirm through her sources it's coming this year. It is possible, but they shifted the game focus with the online components during the pandemic adding new work for the projects that wasn't part of the original plan. I would say this game is in a, is a continuation to the portable Mario Party games, which I think the last one we got was what, Mario Party 100? Or it had like the 100 best mini games in, in like one package. Uh, so she's saying, liken it more to the old Mario Party games than Super Mario Party, but also all these new ideas. And because they came up with these new ideas during the pandemic, it might have pushed it back to a 2022 release. But it still could be coming in 2021. She just doesn't know the exact timeline uh, for release. Basically, her source doesn't know when the game's coming. It's just, it's it, it comes when it comes. But here's a bunch of really cool stuff it's doing. I like this. Everything I'm hearing about this is great because I really enjoyed Super Mario Party. To me, it's one of the better entries in the series. But also, some of the mini games uh, just. It, it, they're really slow and cumbersome because of the way the game's trying to get you to play. Obviously, the added online play is nice. I'm glad they finally did that, but also it's slow and cumbersome. The game needs to be sped up in some ways that makes sense logically. Having multiple people roll dice at once, I think, is uh, one way to do that. Obviously, speeding up the, the speed at which we get into and out of mini games and the speed at which some of the mini games function will be great. Mini games built around traditional controls. Yes, yes, please. I'm glad to see that return. Uh, and yeah, obviously new modes for online or new ways to do multiplayer online beyond just the base game mode. Hell yeah. Like this all sounds fantastic to me. This sounds like the Mario party game of my dreams. So it's not going to be called super Mario party Two, Even though super Mario party sold extremely well, it's going to be Mario party something, or I, it'll either have a sub name or maybe it'll go back to the numbered entries like we've had in the past. Although the numbered entries are so high that will that hurt sales? I have no idea. Um, you know, if you think about like Mario Kart, they don't go with numbered entries all the time. You know, Mario Kart Double Dash. You know, like I, I, I'm just, I'm just throwing out there that uh, numbered entries could be, could be returning, could not be returning. I just know that this is exciting, and for me, as a Mario Party fan, as a Mario fan, it's a me, a Mario. Like, dude, I, I, I'm pumped. I'm pumped. I'm almost more excited for this than a potential Mario Kart game. That's saying something, because I really like Mario Kart. But a Mario Party game done right with online multiplayer so I could play against all of you people? So we can do live streams playing against our fans in Mario Party? Hell to the yeah, yeah! I'm all for that. So... You guys let me know what you think about this down in the comments below. Are you as excited for Mario Party as I am? Like, some of my most hyped games this year, yeah, Horizon Zero Dawn, Breath of the Wild 2, or how Horizon Zero, Horizon Forbidden West, um, you know, Breath of the Wild 2, Halo Infinite. Those are way up there for me. But, I mean, right behind that's like Mario Golf Super Rush. And now maybe Mario Party, baby! I'm going to say I'm a sucker for Nintendo games. Uh, if you guys uh, enjoyed this video, drop a like. I'll leave a comment down below as well. All of that helps us with the YouTube algorithm. Helps us grow our channel. Also, hey, uh, we have a big E3 event going on for E3 2021. I try not to bring it up every video, but every now and then I want to remind people at the end. Uh, we are giving away $3,500 worth of stuff during the give uh, during the, the uh, days of E3 on the 12th, the 13th, and 14th, and 15th. Uh, 12th, 13th, 14th, and 15th of June. Uh, 12 hour live streams during those live streams we're giving away all this stuff over 300 winners it's going to be really really exciting we're partnering with companies we're putting our own money into the giveaway pool we're giving away consoles we're giving away a whole bunch of fun stuff i'm i'm, oh, I'm so stoked for e3 and as this news keeps coming to come it makes me more and more hyped we are live reacting to nintendo we're live reacting to microsoft and everyone else that's at e3 uh putting on our own show there'll be gaming competitions where you can compete against me in games like smash bros to win prizes I'm, oh i'm so pumped e3 E3, oh, E3. Also, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, and Friday, including tonight, we do live streams on the channel around basically between 8 p.m. and 8.30 uh, Central Standard Time. We uh, 
we, we sound off. We talk about some of the news topics from the day. Uh, and then I take questions, Q&A. We kind of Q&A it for a few hours and have some fun. Uh, you'll, you'll see that we – I like to spice up the streams a little bit and have a good time. Also, <clears throat> there are other things that we do as well on Wednesdays. Known as Nintendo Prime Podcast. That's right. Every Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central Time. Uh, usually, unless we got to delay it for a guest. We had to delay it a half hour last time for Andre's restart. Uh, yeah, we, we get really pumped and excited about our Wednesday nights now because we do a live podcast. And it's a lot of fun. Big discussions. Uh, I, I Oh, man. We, we have a special guest on every single time. It's great. So, I'll see you guys tonight. Otherwise, who knows? Maybe I got more videos coming. There, there's so much news today. I guarantee I probably have at least one or two more videos coming. There, There's just so much great stuff, and I want to cover all of it. So thank you guys for tuning in, and I'll catch you in the next video.